Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And with Parliament reconvening imminently, will Mr Boris Johnson attempt to prorogue Parliament again before the end of October or will he just resign? Well, Regardless, there's plenty of Brexit banter on the chat room of Europa Metals. And some wags suggesting that Colin Bird's company could benefit from the catastrophe that is or that might be sterling. The company is operating in the field of lead zinc exploration in Europe. We're staying with mining and on Tuesday we saw falls of 17% for Amur Minerals. Now, this followed an RNS statement on Monday from the company that is trying to develop the Kunmani nickel copper sulfide project located within the Amur Oblast of the Russian Far East. Now, if you look at the shares of the past year, they've fallen from 4.3 pence to this week's 1.8 pence. Now, Monday's RNS regarded the TEO, T -E -O, which is a Russian feasibility study. Now, I don't want this video to be submerged into the realms of second guessing, subterfuge and supposition. So let's have a look ahead to some of the scheduled updates, which will take our minds away from all this political buffoonery. Well, Wednesday, we have half year results from Boohoo. The company's brands include Boohoo Man, Pretty Little Thing, Nasty Girl, Miss Pap, Karen Millen and Coast. Now, it's come a long way since it was founded by Mahmoud Kamani and Carol Kane in 2006. Now, they relinquished their roles as joint chief executives when they appointed John Little, the former COO of Primark. He took over in March. He'll get £50 million in shares on top of his annual salary and bonuses if he can increase the company's stock market value by 180% in five years. Well, here's how the shares look since he took over six months ago. There's a trading update from Mitchells and Butlers on Thursday, and I'm quite sure that nearly all of us have been to one of its hostelries because its estate is extensive. I'm talking about All Bar One, Toby Carvery, Harvester, Browns. Now, the directors have been buying in since June. All very joyful there. But will it be smiles for investors because you weren't happy when the company canned dividends in favour of ploughing more investment into its estate? Well, Pennon is a dividend payer and the waste, water and recycling management company will update investors on Friday. It's the company behind Southwest Water and Recycler Viridor. Now, ahead of that update, analysts at JP Morgan, uh, they stayed at neutral, telling clients that for now, regulatory and UK political risks offset the scope for growth in the company's waste unit. So, what do you think is the city's most best kept secret? Well, the answer lies in the portals of lse.co.uk. Go to the homepage, cast your eyes up and to the right, and you will see investment trusts. It is a new feature on the website, and it is indeed the Investment Trust Centre. And you can be one of the first to take advantage of this new intelligence. Well, if it is intelligence you seek, you can take advantage of LSE's most loquacious posters. Sirius Minerals gets over 4,000 comments within a seven-day period, and understandably the four figures devoted to the demise of Thomas Cook. Exquisite blogger Shant provides a concise narrative and it's a more concise what's hot from me for this week. I'll see you again next week.